Hi, today we're going to be talking about salience model. Um, what is the salience model? It is uh, a model to manage your stakeholders. So let's first of all understand what is the meaning of salience. Um, so I did a search and salient is most important or noticeable as per the Oxford Dictionary. Um, so the model which was released by Ronald Bradley and Donna in 1997 um, talks about what is stakeholders, um, how, what are different dimensions of stakeholder and how do you manage them as a project manager. Um, so let's get started. If you want to download the salience model, you can search on it and it's a very, uh, it's an open source. You can download it from gstor.org. I downloaded it and it's very, very valuable and very nice document. Talks about the stakeholder analysis and um, the stakeholder, uh, you know, theories, history of stakeholder and so on. Uh, for example, what is a stake and what is the meaning of that? There are different type of uh, thought process and um, the one thought process which I really like it, a stake is in the sense is the only something that can be lost. The use of risk to donate stake appears to be a way to narrow the stakeholders. So a few um, ways to define stakeholders. Let's understand the salience model and how do you define those stakeholders and manage them. So salience model um, is broadly um, with respect to all these stakeholders and three dimensions. Uh, these three dimensions are power, legitimacy and urgency. Let's understand what is power, what is urgency and legitimacy. So, um, power is you get the work done by influence or by your virtue. Um, so, you have a power to change the outcome of the project. Legitimacy is whether the involvement, involvement on the project is appropriate or not. Is it, is it within norms or not? Urgency is the information needs or the needs which are urgent, um, which stakeholder calls for. So um, from the dictionary itself, from the, um, you know, the model itself, I picked out a definition. Uh, power is ability of those who possess power to bring about the outcomes they desire. Legitimacy is socially accepted and expected structures of behaviors by people, by organization, by government, and so on. Urgency is degree to which stakeholder claims call for immediate action. Uh, urgency could be time sensitive, that means I need it now or I need it later. And information sensitive, which is, you know, the information which I sought is critical information or non-critical information. So there are these two aspects, but from the urgency perspective, generally the thought process is how much time do you need to cater for this particular information or this particular need of a stakeholder. Now, salience model, you, what you see on your screen is a Venn diagram. Salience model um, divide the stakeholders into uh, seven type of stakeholders. So I'm going to talk about the first type, which is first three type, which is latent stakeholders. These are the stakeholders which has only one aspect. For example, the organization or people who have only power the organization or people or entities who have legitimate um, authority or legitimacy over the project. And then the third one is the um, people who have the urgency, uh, who, who want things to be done. So let's look at the thing which is, you know, power. These are called dormant stakeholder. I'm just going to mark them as first 
these are dormant stakeholders they have power but they do not have urgency or legitimacy or they do not acquire that um, think about a roadways project going on and there is a government agency they have power but they do not use it um, so government agency can come inspect um, and stop the project similarly a media organization roadways project going on they are not writing about that roadways project they are dormant as of now in case the roadways project is delayed beyond certain time frame then this media organization may start talking about it which means they acquire some more aspect of things and then start actioning on them um, so, but these are the stakeholders who are not doing anything they are dormant they are sleeping right now they are powerful but since they do not have any urgency or legitimacy they are not doing anything um, for your project or for your initiative um, so these are dormant they do not you don't need to cater to them as of now whenever they ask whenever they wake up or acquire other dimension then you need to work with them the second dimension is discretionary discretionary stakeholders are those stakeholders which are legitimate stakeholder only this dimension um, you these are the uh, people who are uh, legitimate but they have no power or agency um, so think about again a roadways project going on there are NGOs environmental NGOs and so on um, they they may request for certain things out there um, you as a project manager can have a discretionary uh, decision where whether to cater to the, their needs or not to so these are discretionary stakeholders you can handle them based on your project objectives and then urgency these are the third type which are demanding stakeholder these are the people or agencies which are talking a lot which are creating unnecessary drama if the needs are not met think about a kid which uh, is you know which is asking for ice cream and you as a father or mother do not give them the ice cream this kid does not have power the information or the um, the ask is not legitimate um, you deny that and he or she is creating drama by just crying out loud not cooperating with you um, showing different type of gestures lying down on the floor so these are the people who can create drama you might want to ignore them if you want but in case they tomorrow they acquire some other attribute then you have to manage them accordingly so let's look at the now the next stakeholders which are the second level which have two attributes with them these are called expectant stakeholders um, so let's look at the first one which is dominant stakeholders these are the combination of power and legitimacy so this is the cube i'm talking about here um, so i'm just gonna write one two three again so this is the one which i'm talking about um, these are the stakeholder which has power and legitimate right to um, the ask uh, for example the government office which want roadways companies to abide by certain rules um, you need to do whatever they have asked you to do simple so manage them and work with them because the claims are legitimate then there are second uh, stakeholders which are dangerous stakeholders these have power and urgency this is the cube which we're talking about um, these are the urgent or dangerous stakeholders sorry so um, these are the stakeholders which are the stakeholders which can use coercive uh, these are not legitimate stakeholders 
सो दीज आर दीपल हु यूज पनिशमेंट और डिफरेंट वेज टू टॉर्चर एंड टेक द आउटकम इन देयर फेवर थिंक अबाउट टेररिस्ट ग्रुप who would make unnecessary demands by hijacking a car or aeroplane now by hijacking a car or um, a particular aeroplane they have the power and they are talking about certain needs which needs to be met urgently so um how do you work with them you try and find out them in advance uh, these are the threat to your project if you mitigate these threat or if you plan for these kind of uh, nuisance value stakeholders and plan for them beforehand then you are uh, in much better condition so plan for these kind of nuisance value earlier then there are third type of stakeholders which are dependent stakeholders these are these stakeholders which are aspect of legitimacy and urgency these do not have power um so what are these people these people are dependent stakeholders because they do not have power they are dependent on people or you as project uh, managers to do certain things for example if you are a manager of a oil shipping company and the oil spreads let's say your uh, there are instances wherein oil has dripped in the sea and there are a lot of people in environmentalist who is talking about you know there are they are legitimate claims that there should not be any spills um and these are urgent they are talking about it but who does the task who can get the work done it is you so you decide as and when to do it but these kind of people um keep them informed about the action which you are doing then the last one is definitive stakeholders these stakeholders are the aspect of all these three and this is obviously the most important stakeholders they have the power they are legitimate and they have urgency um when i think about these kind of stakeholder think of the top management of your company the performing organization the top management of the customer company um how do you manage them manage them very closely build trust relationship work with their demands and ensure that they are engaged and anybody outside is non stakeholder you don't have to worry about their needs or creating reports for them you you just worry about as per the salience model you worry about these uh, seven type of stakeholders what is the benefit of salience model it identifies which type of stakeholders are most important whom do you give what kind of importance how do you handle them it helps you manage stakeholders better that's pretty much from me my name is kavita sharma and you can reach out to me at help@kavitasharma.net Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.